Hello everyone welcome back to yet another learning video in this video we are going to learn about hplc calibration so let's get started without any further delay as we know that a typical hplc instrument consists of four main parts pump order sampler column compartment and detector so in today's video we will learn about detector calibration Detector of a HPLC is calibrated with the help of three calibration parameters and those are wavelength accuracy, detector linearity and drift and noise. So let us learn about the wavelength accuracy test first. In wavelength accuracy test we will learn three things. Number one, what is required to perform wavelength accuracy test? Number two, how wavelength accuracy test is performed? And number three, how it is decided that whether the wavelength accuracy test is passing or failing. So let us begin with the first point. Well, to carry out a wavelength accuracy test, we need mobile phase, diluent and a caffeine standard solution. Mobile phase is prepared using water and ASEAN in the ratio of uh, 60 is to 40. Diluent. Diluent composition is also same as like your mobile phase and it consists of water and ASEAN in the ratio of 60 is to 40. Then comes your caffeine standard solution. Mostly 25 ppm caffeine standard solution is used to perform wavelength accuracy test. You can prepare 25 ppm caffeine solution by taking 50 mg of the caffeine standard and uh, dissolve it in 100 ml of the volumetric flask with diluent. Further take 5 ml from this stock and again dilute it to 100 ml with diluent. And this will be your 25 ppm caffeine solution. With this, our solutions are ready. Now let us see how the wavelength accuracy test is performed. Well, to perform wavelength accuracy test, first of all, we have to apply certain instrument method parameters. And these are the instrument method parameters which we need to apply to HPLC system. Injection volume. Injection volume is given 20 mule. Flow rate. Flow rate is set at 1 ml per minute. Run time. Run time is kept 10 minutes. Column temperature. Column temperature is kept 40 degrees Celsius. Wavelength. Uh, generally, three set of the wavelengths uh, used during the wavelength accuracy test. And these are the three set of the wavelengths which we use during the wavelength accuracy test. 202 to 208 nanometer, 240 to 248 nanometer, 270 to 276 nanometer. Column. Generally, C18 column with 150 mm length, 4.6 mm diameter and 5 micron particle size is used uh, for the wavelength accuracy test. So these were the instrument method parameters which we applied during the wavelength accuracy test. After applying these instrument method parameters, HPLC is accumulated with the help of mobile phase. Once the HPLC system is stabilized, caffeine standard solution of 25 ppm is injected into the HPLC system with these three different set of the wavelengths. Thereafter, data generated from the, these three different set of the wavelengths is evaluated to check whether wavelength accuracy test is passed or failed. So let us see how this evaluation is done. Firstly, chromatograms obtained from the 202 nanometer to 208 nanometer are checked for the caffeine peak with the maximum height. It should be between 203 nanometer to 207 nanometer. It means, if you get a caffeine peak with the maximum height between 203 nanometer to 207 nanometer, then wavelength accuracy test will be considered pass for first set of the wavelengths. Similar way, chromatograms obtained from 240 nanometer to 246 nanometer are checked for the caffeine peak with the minimum height. It should be between 243 nanometer to 247 nanometer. Which means, if you get a caffeine peak with the minimum height between 243 nanometer to 247 nanometer, then wavelength accuracy test will be considered pass for the second set of the wavelengths. And finally, caffeine peak obtained from the wavelength 270 nanometer to 276 nanometer is evaluated for the maximum height. And it should be between 271 nanometer to 275 nanometer. So this was all about your wavelength accuracy test evaluation. Now comes the last learning of this video. Question is, why caffeine is used for the wavelength accuracy test? 
So the answer is there are three main reasons because of which caffeine is used for the wavelength accuracy test. Number one, caffeine solution when analyzed under UV, it gives two absorption maxima and one absorption minima. UV spectrum of caffeine covers almost entire UV range. Here you can see a typical UV spectrum of the caffeine. There are two maxima and one minima. Number two reason for using caffeine for the wavelength accuracy test is caffeine is very much stable. And last reason for using caffeine for the wavelength accuracy test is caffeine is easily available in the market. So these are the three reasons because of which caffeine is used for the wavelength accuracy test. So guys, this is it for today's video. We will cover the remaining test parameters of the detector calibration in the upcoming videos. Bye bye and happy learning.